Hi, um, I'm Joey. This is Steve. And Hello. This is uh, Tetsu. And um, I, we, we just, uh, Steve, Steve just finished his uh, presentation on uh, languages, and it's something that was really, really well uh, received by everyone. Uh, I, I think Steve is somebody that's really, really well known in the polyglot uh, community. Absolutely. I mean, a lot of people re refer to you as the I guess the person that started this movement. I wish I didn't. Uh, which I didn't. You know, I didn't. You didn't, so, but no. you're, you're you're quite the reference. Okay. So uh, we're very very happy to have had the opportunity to have you here, um, and uh, I think one of the things that everybody asks themselves always is, uh, how did you get your passion for languages and things of the sort? Well, first of all, I should say that uh, I've been so impressed with the people that I've met here and they all have this passion. So it's something that's quite easy to get passionate about. Uh, so in my own case, uh, I guess, I mean, throughout my career as both initially as a diplomat and then in the forest industry, I had plenty of opportunity to, to deal with people who spoke different languages. Uh, it was just a necessity and I was always interested in it. And I think uh, all of us, if we discover that we're actually capable of doing something, that encourages us to continue Absolutely. doing it, right? Uh, and so that was my case, but then I worked and I had my languages and then at the age of 55, in fact, I decided to learn Cantonese, which I had always heard but I couldn't really speak. And that's when I discovered that between initially the mini-disc player, but then the MP3 player and the internet, there's yeah. so many facilities and it's just every year there's more and more in terms of things that make it easier to learn. So if you're interested in doing something, you discover you can do it and that there's more and more resources and tools, it just feeds on itself, right? Yeah, sure. and, and that's the excitement that I sense here from the people who, uh, whom I've met and uh, well, yeah, so it's a should, great initiative. We definitely sure. wanted to ask you, you know, after two sessions, I think both sessions were great success in the other room also with Nicolas. Um, it's, it's just a happening thing and we, we want to spread this. What do you think about the potential of this going, taking off? Well, I mean, what I would like to see is we have, we're kind of in a way preaching to the converted here mm -hmm. because a lot of these people have already s discovered the joy of learning uh, more than one language. And of course, Montreal is a very bilingual city, mm -hmm. but uh, if we can actually get more people to realize that not only bilingualism, I mean, the first step is to get to be bilingual, right? There's a lot of people who aren't even bilingual, yeah. but that you can get from bilingual to trilingual and beyond as we are here, and just bring in more people who maybe are look on the outside looking in on the threshold, maybe scared off by the word polyglot, but think, gee, wouldn't it be neat if I could speak Spanish or if I could speak Chinese? Mm -hmm. And somehow, I think going forward, if we can get more of those people working with schools, working with I don't know whom, that that would be exciting. For sure. One of the things, because we, we, we only have a couple of minutes, okay. so I don't want to take too much time, but one of the things that I always found interesting is, first of all, you accepted our, uh, our invitation right away. Oh, yeah. You've been one of the persons pushing this for us, and, and we're really grateful for that. And one of it is because you had a relationship with Tetsu, Absolutely. which you met, and I've seen uh, the videos of it, you know, like 10 years ago or something like that, the two of you actually met where? In, in Japan or something like this? Well, Tell us about how the two of you uh, <laughs> met each other. Well, it was, it was uh, online, um, you know, I was just writing a little dinky blog and, and somehow I guess it caught, caught Steve's eyes yeah. and, and, you know, we hooked up and, and we did this uh, interview in five languages, you know, and, and one thing led to another. When he came to visit in Japan, we, you know, we went out for coffee and when I you know, went to Vancouver, like stopped by, you know. So, so that's cool. And, and ten way. years later, more or less. Yeah, yeah I mean, are, we, we are. Are. Uh, two things Best to say people. about about that. First of all, that that uh, I was so impressed with how well he spoke these languages, and they're so different. Like he spoke his Quebecois French, and he spoke his Ecuadorian Spanish, <laughs> not to mention Japanese and Chinese. Yes. And and so, and then the second thing was, uh, you know, Tetsu is having a language conference. I'm going to be there. I mean, yeah, that was sure, all it was. Sure. Yeah. So thank you very much. For giving us this time, okay, and uh, I mean, enjoy the rest of the thank you the, the present presentations that we're gonna have. All right, okay, thank you. Thank you.